Right, here we are at Spalding Rugby Club for the BSC Owners Club Annual Rally and Open Day. So let's roll on down the road, meet the others, fill of, of petrol, and then set off for East Kirkby. Here we are, the car park at the rear of the Tulip Queen pub. This is the place we're setting off from. So let's park up and wait for everybody to turn up. Might as well take a walk around before we set off. Certainly a variety of bikes here. Singles, twins, triples, the odd two-stroke, a couple of side valves. One thing I did not see was an original Gold Star. A couple of the new Gold Stars but I didn't see any of the original pre-unit ones. <laughs> Certainly a sunny enough day, so that's in our favour. And back to the A65. <laughs> right, off we go. Using the second man drop off system as per normal, where the person immediately behind the lead rider stops and stays there until Tail and Charlie has gone past, no matter how long it takes. As we are to find out a bit later on, that can be anything up to 20 minutes or more. The obvious exception to the sex man and drop off is anybody with a sidecar. And we have a nice M oh, an M33 outfit. Very jolly. Hello in front of me now I'll stop here to tell everybody that we've gone to the right rather than the left fork there so I'm probably next in line for the drop-off I now wait at this junction and tell everybody else to turn left Quite a few bikes on this run, I should reckon about 40, possibly 50. That's a lot of people to keep together in one group. But with a second man drop off, it means everybody should get there eventually. Yeah, it's a fairly busy road, and being a bank holiday, that doesn't help. I 
Now this fellow's just come up to tell me that the tail ender is quite a way back. The group has been split up. I think one of the bikes failed, so that held them up for a bit. So, fair enough. I shall sit here until the last man comes through. We'll be riding a Red C15, I believe. Oh well, let's sit here for a bit. Looks like tail end Charlie come in now. Yep, red C15, that'll be the tail ender. So I drop in front of him and I'm now last but one in the queue. And we're a good 20 to 25 minutes behind everybody else now. But it doesn't matter, we'll get there. We've got all day, then a race. the 810 that left just before me seems to have stopped not good news it looks like it's seized not a lot we can do at the moment but I do believe he's in the AA or the RAC so he should be able to get back there's a good chance it'll start up once it's cooled down you never know but since there's nothing much else we can do, all he found for help, I'm afraid all we can do is carry on and meet the others. And as we come round the corner, there's the second man waiting to show us which way to go. Have we got the same at the next roundabout? Let's have a look. Yep, there he is waiting. Okie doke, catch his later. And there's a left turn coming up here. So the tail ender tells us if there's nobody there, it's the next left. Unfortunately, yep, the second man's there waiting. just up the road they're all waiting for the tail enders to catch up so we're all together as one group again now don't know how long that's gonna last for but we seem to have everybody well we will do when tail end Charlie turns up there he is one red C15 Hello here, having a bit of trouble with the clutch. It's dragging that much, it's stalling the bike out. Yeah, we know all about clutches, mate. There's nothing I can do to help push with this gummy leg of mine, so hopefully, with a bit of a shove, and it's... No, it's still stalling out. Ah. I think this is another one that's going to get left by the wayside, as they say. I dare say the clutch will work once it's cooled down a bit, maybe that's his plan. I think it was the plan actually because he did turn up later on, but there again there's me spoiling the plot, eh? Oh, I swear a calf on the right. Langrick Station calf. That's one I've not been to. Stick that one down on the list. And a bit further on, we pass the entrance to the Bubble Car Museum. Another place I wouldn't mind having a look around. There we go, that's another day out one of the days. There we go, the Bubble Car Museum. I presume it's a museum of bubble cars. One thing about this part of the world, it's straight and it's flat. Yep, that's straight, 
and that's flat. And it was like that for the next few miles. Once again as you come to the junction, there's a couple of bikes telling us which way to go. So I think we're all going to arrive at roughly the same time. East Kirkby. And yep, this is the place. Not been here since 2011. We had a Kawasaki Drifter Rally here. And certainly a few cars parked there. Looks like they've got a good crowd. Looks like we're somewhere in the middle. That should be useful. Just look for a load of BSAs. They'll be round here somewhere. Yes, yeah, looks promising. Fellow there wants to know how many more to come. Grand total of three, I think, behind me. So we should be alright, we'll get three in there. That's it, somewhere by the sign. Not a problem. A little bit of footage of the Lancaster taxiing. And then after that, a few seconds, probably the Super Fortress flying past. Let's try and find a way out of here. How hard could it be? Well, there's two ways, and I was going the wrong way. Right, the instructions are, cross there, up the corner, and that's the exit. Right, let's try that. Apart from, there's two corners, they never said which corner. And of course, I headed for the wrong corner. So this time, across the field, the corner diagonally to my left and hopefully that should lead to the exit no one said it would be easy especially if there's an idiot involved well so far so good there's the field now that's got two corners let's go for the furthest corner that's where everybody else seems to be going. And a little bit of traffic as we go through Boston. 
the clutch on the A65 is still not behaving it's not been a pleasant bike to ride at all this weekend don't know what else I can do now to cure it and I'll give it a bit more thought before I give up completely and here we are back at the site again a good day out really the only thing that marred it really for me was the clutch which is just to show don't believe everything you read in advertising improves the transmission well it doesn't not in this case exactly the opposite still might as well stick the bike on the trailer now and home tomorrow Catch you later.